Chelsea, and your first step to being successful online is through market research, and I'm going to show you how and where to do it. First, we aren't going to try and reinvent the wheel. What we want to do is start with what people are already buying. People are typically looking for a solution to a problem, and your job is to provide that solution. You want to sell what the market wants, not what you think they need. Okay, so what I mean by hot, hungry market is a group of people who are interested in searching for and possibly purchasing the same thing, or at least they're willing and able to buy. The first thing that we're going to discuss is keywords. We're just going to talk a little bit about what keywords are. Then I'm going to explain to you some of the basics of Google. Then I'm going to explain to you what discovery keywords are and how to hone in on a specific market. And then finally, we're going to just take a look at some other sources that would be handy for you. So the goal of this video is to show you how to find a hot, hungry market. So keywords are the words that people use when searching Google. So for example, if I wanted to find out about golf, think of all the words that have to do with golf. Nine iron, how to improve my swing, golf clubs, golf balls, and the list goes on and on. Keywords are important when looking for a hot, hungry market. So let's refer to our golf example here on Google, and I'll just put in the word golf balls in the browser bar. So here are my results. You'll see on the right side here, these are all the paid advertisements for that keyword. These are the people who are willing to pay per click on that word. Okay, so now these people here on the top left are sponsored ads. These people also pay for their advertising. The people below the sponsored come up naturally when searching golf balls. When people are willing to pay for ads related to my keyword, then I know it's a good market. And this is important to keep in mind. Okay, so now we're going to go to a, a free source, and it's a Google Keyword Tool. A great way of finding out what's hot is using the discovery keywords. Discovery keywords are words that contain phrases like, how do I, get rid of, eliminate, cure. So let's type in the word, how do I. We're just using Google's Keyword Tool to brainstorm what's hot right now. Okay, so here are my results. I can see... People are searching, how do I learn, how do I call, how do I enter, and this little green bar here, advertiser competition, it's a really vague, broad, rough estimate of how competitive that phrase is, that keyword is. It's, it's generic, it doesn't give me enough information to make a huge decision, but it's good to know what that means. And then here in this column is the approximate search volume for the month. And this month happens to be for the month of March. So the keyword, how do I, got 13 million searches in the month of March. So let's just take a look here at some of the other searches. We've got, how do I find people? How do I find an address? So let's go back up and type in another discovery keyword. How do I make money? Lots of competition. And I can see here 12,000 searches for the month of March. So let's type in another discovery keyword, eliminate. Eliminate bugs, eliminate fleas, eliminate spyware. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm brainstorming on Google what would be the most popular question right now. I want to know what people are searching for, what they're asking about, because my job is to figure out how to bring those people a solution to the quote-unquote popular question that everyone wants to know the answer to. Okay, now that we've talked about discovery keywords, let's do something more specific, and I have researched the coffee market already. So let's type in the word coffee. So here is the word coffee. It has a lot of competition. You can see here there were 20 million hits in the month of March alone. So now let's go back to Google and type in the word coffee and see what comes up. You can see here that there are 227 million available websites having to do with coffee. That's a lot of competition. It's a good market. The reason there are so many is because coffee is so broad. So the word coffee alone is really competitive. Coffee is a good market, but we need to find a word in that market that is more specific for us. 
As you can see, there are a lot of advertisers willing to pay for the keyword coffee. Now let's look for something more specific like coffee beans wholesale in the Google Keywords tool. As you can see, it got 3,600 searches in March, and the competition seems fair. So let's go back to Google and type in the word coffee beans wholesale. And as you can see, there are fewer websites available, which means the competition is better. But there are clearly still people willing to pay for this advertisement using this keyword. So this could be a possibility for us. So now I'm going to show you another neat little trick when doing market research. And all you need to do is put quotes around your keywords. So we'll just put quotes around coffee bean wholesale. And what this is going to do, this is going to bring up websites that have that exact phrase in their website. So I can see how many people who currently have websites with that exact phrase in their website, in their content. So I have 4,000 490 websites currently who have that exact phrase in their content somewhere on their website. I can hone in even more if I put the word in title colon then my keyword coffee beans wholesale in quotes and I can actually see how many websites currently have coffee beans wholesale in the title of their website. And so this just shows how many people currently have coffee beans wholesale in the title of their website. I just took the broad word coffee, which was getting 227 million results, and narrowed it down to 165 websites that are true competitors for the specific keyword, coffee bean wholesale. So now I'm going to show you another source called SpyFu. So SpyFu is just a way of looking at how many people are currently advertising for my specific keyword. So let's type in my keyword, coffee beans wholesale. Okay, so over here I can see there are seven advertisers currently using that keyword. And do you remember when we looked at the right side of Google and we saw all of those paid ads? This is how much those people are willing to pay for this keyword per click, anywhere from 85 cents to $3.65. So this is just good information to know for your competition. SpyFu is another way of evaluating the hotness of a market. So now I'm going to show you other ways to brainstorm for a hot market. So my first source is eBay Pulse. 40% of people who purchase things on the internet purchase them on eBay. eBay Pulse allows me to see the top 10 most popular searches. So you can also drill down by category. Let's choose health and beauty. So as you can see, a lot of these are makeup and perfume. And these are general ideas for what people really want right now in that category but I can hone down even more and choose a subcategory. Let's choose makeup. So here's a list of product names that I could potentially use for specific keywords. So eBay Pulse is a great way to find out what people are looking for and to drill down and be more specific. So now let's take a look at Yahoo. Yahoo is another place to search for popular topics. And what's great about Yahoo is they also give you suggestions for other keywords. So let's type in coffee beans wholesale. So this is another way for me to take a look at some other keywords that I haven't even thought of. Let's click on more and look at all of these possible keywords that I could use that I never even would have thought of. So we don't have to stay within Google. So now let's go to ClickBank. ClickBank is the largest collection of digital products. You can submit your own product like an ebook, or you can promote other people's products for a commission. The reason I look at ClickBank is because ClickBank is full of digital products, and digital products are usually at the top of the trends. So it's a great way to see what's hot. So let's go to the marketplace and search for products. I'm going to search health and fitness, and I'm going to search under high gravity. It's important to know that high gravity is not the same as popularity. High gravity is actually a measurement of how successful the product is selling and how hard people are trying to push it. So let's take a look here. The truth about six pack abs has a high gravity of 325.08, which is the highest of the related searches. So maybe six pack abs is a hot market right now and you can do more research on it. The next one down is about anxiety. Maybe that's a hot market. It has a gravity of 236.73. 
Now let's take a look at ClickBank Engine. ClickBank Engine is another way to look at ClickBank products in a more in-depth way. ClickBank Engine is a great source if you have found a product on ClickBank that you want to promote because ClickBank Engine provides you with detailed information on the product that you may be interested in. So with all these resources, you will be able to find a hot, hungry market and hone in on a specific niche within that market that has the right competition for you.